struggling on how to tell this tale. So let's ask one of these oracles uh, how to make a boring presentation sexy. Whoa, do not look that up. What's up, everybody? This is a video that's been in the makings since October. I just haven't had time to do it. I have two radios running behind me, my ICOM 7300 and my Yaesu FT991A. And the reason this video came up is because I was feeding both radios from the same antenna in October for just the sake of testing something. And I realized that the, JT, the WSJTX logs were not exactly the same. So it led me down to the, I need to see if this is an issue with my setup or if this is a difference between the radios. So my hope is to set these things up as close together as they possibly can in terms of settings and all the parameters that they have and compare them side by side in terms of how they receive FT8 signals uh, and how they end up getting that uh, decoded at the computer. The computer is going to be the same and that keeps the playing field level for them. There's plenty of resources on the computer so that's not going to be an issue and even if it were then they would both be struggling for the same resources so that's not going to be a problem. Let me take you through the physical setup of this thing and show you uh, how I'm going to set this up and test. So here's the setup so that you guys can see that we're doing apples to apples comparison here. The preamp is going to be set to 1 on the ICOM and the preamp is set to 1 on the ASU. Noise blanker is off on the ICOM and noise reduction is off on the ICOM. Noise blanker is off on the ASU. Digital noise reduction and di digital noise filters are both off on the ASU. I have disconnected the microphones on these two radios so that, you know, someone can't key this up by mistake and then damage the radio from transmitting directly RF into the other. Um, I've also disabled the transmission on the software. On the computer, I have two instances ready of WSJTX, or actually JTDX. If you want instructions on how to do this, I will leave a card, let's see, up there. Santiago has a video on how to do this, and uh, that'll take you through. When it comes to feeding the radio, both radios are fed from the same antenna, which happens to be my DX Commander Nebula, on a T, and the lines coming off the T's are exactly the same. They're both from the same manufacturer, they're the same length. I bought them at the same time, so presumably they came out of the same batch. I'm trying to make this as even as possible in terms of comparing the receive on these two for FT8. I have some handy software from KC3PIB that's going to help me compare the output logs of, w, uh, of JTDX and see if there's any difference between the two in terms of uh, of what they received. Thanks to uh, KC3PIB for the software. He heard about my uh, intent to do this a couple months ago and he wrote the software. That's the setup. I'm gonna check back. I, I just started it. I'm gonna check back on this tomorrow at the same time and uh, see where we are. In order to prevent the software from transmitting, what I have done is I have changed the COM port from what it is, which in this case would become 5, to USB. Now that's going to generate an error on the screen. Look at that. But it doesn't matter because it'll still receive the signals. You can see that it has received three FT8 packets there and it has received three FT8 packets there. So same setup on both sides. Yeah, the software is going to complain about not having access to the rig control, but that's okay. I don't want it to have any access to the rig control. All I wanted to do is to decode what's coming from the sound card of each rig. Also to make sure that the volume coming in from each device is right, I have set them both to 55 on the computer. And 
and the RF gain is maxed out on both of the radios. I'm going to get a screenshot of this because it's going to be far easier to show you what it is, but this is software that is running on my computer comparing the output of one WSJTX to the output of another WSJTX in order to figure out what radio is doing what. And so far, you're not seeing much of it here. You see, if, you know, every once in a while you'll have one contact or a few contacts that show up on one radio and doesn't show up on the other. This has been very interesting. This has been running right around 24 hours at this point in time. I'm going to stop this and start getting some data for you. All right, gang, the results are in, and this is not what I expected. I expected these radios to be very much on par, and uh, from what you're going to see here in a minute, they're not. So uh, let me take you through the results. I'll let you guys uh, figure out which is which after a bit, but for now, we're just going to refer to them as Radio A and Radio B. I'm not going to tell you which is which. We're just going to look at the numbers and see what is. Right out of the gate, we have both radios agree on 16,496 messages. That means that many messages got to both radios at, at the same time, and they agree that they're basically the same packet. There are some differences in what each radio heard in terms of signal strength, but all 16,496 made it in on both radios. On Radio A, on top of that, we have another 1,193. That's 1,193 extra messages that showed up on Radio A that did not show up at all on Radio B. On top of that, we have 534 messages that showed up on Radio B that did not show up at all on Radio A. We see that both radios have a different perspective on what they hear on the fringes. So Radio A got a total of 17,689 messages in that time frame of, of the test. And Radio B got 17,030 messages. What does that amount to? That amounts to roughly 7.23% more messages heard on Radio A than the combined two radios. Uh, and 3.24% mes uh, more messages heard on Radio B than the combined two. I went looking on the spreadsheet and I couldn't find a rhyme or a reason as to why one radio heard one thing and the other radio didn't. I couldn't figure it out. I asked around to some of the other YouTubers. Uh, Ham Radio Dude said, hey man, look at the offset and see from that ki three kilohertz if there's one radio that favors the low end or the high end there doesn't appear to be a, a, an offset difference. Uh, they're, they are both pretty much on the same bell curve when it comes to distribution of, of, of what messages they heard that the other radio didn't hear on, on what offset. At least from what I can tell, that's not it. I, I don't know what it is. So if you know or if you have an idea, maybe just drop me a comment down below and tell me what I should be looking at. The next big finding that I, at least to me that's interesting, is that the average signal to noise ratio on Radio A and Radio B are also different. Considering that they're both set pretty much as close to each other as possible, I found it interesting that there is a, uh, a difference in the SNR from Radio A to Radio B. Radio A seems to be receiving almost 1 dB louder than, the, than Radio B. Uh, what that amounts to us in terms of WSJTX and or you know FT8 in the case that I'm testing here is that I stand a better chance of hearing a station on Radio A than on Radio B because Radio A is hearing that station a little bit better. A dB is not a huge amount, but it does add up, right? On the median is one full dB. When you consider everything into, in, into what's going on, the median dB is off by one. So on radio A, we have negative nine. On radio B, we have negative 10. That's a, that's a difference, right? Uh, I don't know if it's a one dB amounts to a, a large difference or not. In my world, I don't think it does. But, you know, here we are. We got to look at the, at the differences between these, these two radios. That's what I'm doing with this. What radio is next? I don't know at this point in time. I'm trying to work out uh, a setup where I borrow some radios to test this out. So I don't know what radios I'm going to get to test at this point in time, but this is a start. I have a method of, for testing them now that I think works. All of the data for this video 
is available to you down in the description. So if you think that I missed something or that my calculations aren't quite right or whatever, hey, look, you can pull the same data that I have, pull up your own spreadsheet, and tell me what you have. Tell me what you got different than I got different. Now that you've seen Radio A and Radio B results, what do you think they are? So, you know, in the comments, yeah, you have three seconds to make your guess and write it down in the comments. Be honest, write it in the comment before I let this go. So, three, two, one. Radio A is the ICOM IC7300. I really expected these two radios to be very much in par. The difference here is not so significant that I would not use my 991A on FT8 because I still do. But to a contester or someone looking to make a lot of contacts on a specific day like uh, Support Your Parks Weekend or Field Day uh, or on a contest day, that may make the difference between you know you making the, the number of contacts you want to make and the time you want to make them or not, right? That's a significant amount for a contester. For somebody like me, half a dozen of one, six of the other, I'm just doing this for fun. I, I'm not into contesting at this point in time. I may be later in the future, but for now, not my thing. I need to drop a thanks here to the Ham Radio YouTube creators that helped me with this video. I, I do have to call out Kyle. He, the thumbnail for this video came from him. I appreciate him uh, making that thumbnail for me because Another thing I, I was struggling with, making a thumbnail that made more sense. My thumbnail looked like garbage. You want to see what my thumbnail looks like? That's what it looked like versus what you saw at the beginning of the video. Big difference. Uh, so thanks to Kyle, man. Appreciate it. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Thanks for coming along on this trip with me. I hope to be putting a few more of these out uh, over the course of winter. And uh, we'll catch you all down the log. 7-3.